This is Filipina Ghost Cousins only on Keith TV. Okay cousins, have I got a story for you. I kid you not this might be real. Deep in the chilly water of Casco Bay, some say a mystery lurks, reported sightings dating as far back as 1751, where fishermen fishing the Atlantic coastal shelf reported the sightings of sea serpents. A sea serpent in Casco Bay was aptly named Cassie. While her existence has never been proven, her name is steeped in legend. Cassie has been seen along the main coast from Biddeford to Eastport. Described both mammal and reptile and estimated to be between 60 and 125 feet long. The first recorded sighting is from Navy officer Edward Preble, who went on to command the USS Constitution, who reportedly seen Cassie in June 1779 in Penobscot Bay. At the time, Preble was an 18-year-old ensign on the ship Protector when he had an encounter with the serpent-like creature. In May of 1780, Captain George Little of Boston reported seeing a 45-foot-long serpentine creature in Broad Bay, Maine. Captain Little said a man-sized head was carried about five feet out of the water. Other sightings were reported near Portland in 1818 and off Mount Desert Rock in 1836, again in 1905 and 1910. In 1912, a Mrs. F. W. Saunderson reported, along with two dozen passengers were aboard a steamer traveling from New York to Portland, witnessing an enormous head, long neck and barrel-sized body appearing off the starboard, or the right side of the ship. Saunderson's reported that the creature rose about 20 feet above the water, remained erect for half a minute or so, its head turning slowly as it if to take a good look at its surroundings, and then slipping back into the water. Later, in the late 1930s and 1940s encounters with the Cassie were reported in Eastport, Maine. The most detailed sighting were reported by two fishermen, Ole Mickelson and Ajmar Hergard, in Casco Bay in 1958. The story goes that on the June 5, 1958, Ole Mickelson saw an object heading directly for his fishing boat, at first the two thought it was a submarine, then a flounder, but as it came closer they discovered whatever it was to be alive and huge. Whatever the creature was, it came in and out of the water about four times as it continued to head for the two men's boat, eventually coming up about 125 feet away and then stopped, as if to look at them. Mickelson could not see any discernible eyes or ears but, every time the Portland lightship blew its foghorn the creature turned its head in its direction. And then it would go under the water for a few moments only to reappear. The two thought of cutting their boat's nets and making a run for shore, but lucky the creature made a sharp turn and disappeared into the haze, heading southeast. It was described as being light brown with a lighter underside and a long neck. The tail of the creature was like that of a mackerel's and its body was well over 100 feet in length. The head of the beast stuck out of the water and was broader than its long neck. In recent years sightings of Cassie have been few and far between, and many conspiracy theorists and cryptozoologists and researchers have suggested that noisy sea traffic may be one reason for the creature's disappearance. This theory is backed up by the fact that other known marine animals, like seals and dolphins, have since moved on from the areas closer to the main shore and Casco Bay seemingly due to the area's abundant sea traffic and shipped on up to Wiscasset and Sheepscot Bay. Well what do you think? Thank you for watching. As always, please like, share, comment and subscribe. I hope to see you next week. Okay Everyody, that's a wrap.